I would just put it very simply for all my customers out there, the potential customers as well as the current customers that uh, if there is an offer which is too lucrative to be true, just take a step back in assessing whether that's true or not. So technology has penetrated almost every aspect of our life. Think about it this way that approximately 20 years back, hardly any of us used to use smartphones. But now you will rarely find anyone who is not using smartphones. By using these conveniences, companies are shifting their business models and offering a lot of conveniences to its customers. So we will talk about this topic on today's episode of Finance Made Simple by Canada HSBC Life Insurance. And I'm joined by Mr. Siddharth Kaushik, who is the Chief Risk Officer at the firm. So thank you so much for joining us on the show. And to complete beginners who might be new to this chat and might not understand things like artificial intelligence, blockchain, machine learning, if you can break down for us that what are the specific conveniences that are available to people now in terms of buying insurance and how has technology aided to that? Either the customer wants to connect with us or we want to connect with the customer and all, all those aspects, we are trying to go ahead and use technology, artificial intelligence, the new and new, I would say new age technological aspects to go ahead and bring in more and more convenience. So to give you simple examples, whenever the customer wants to connect with us, be it uh, on a very, very simple thing like an IVR, we are building that intelligence on the IVR itself so that he can go ahead and do the maximum amount of transactions on a DIY perspective, which is do it yourself. Why should he go ahead and even wait for us to go ahead and get onto a call center executive and then talk to them when he or she can do it? So that's something technology has aided. The other is even at the starting point, when our person is going ahead and connecting with the customer, we would not want to go with those conventional method of asking each and every detail from the customer. Why should we when the technology can come to the way? We will ask the MVP, which we call as a minimum viable product, those pertaining information from the customer and then we'll use APIs and link it with various databases which are available out there in the market to go ahead and fetch the information for doing a KYC, for going ahead and doing some sort of checks that we are doing. So it's not only bringing in a convenience, it's bringing in an ease at the same time it's also validating certain things. So the overall time reduces and at the end of the day the overall tax reduces which itself is a customer walk back. Understood. So talking a little bit about the future, so where do you see pain points right now in that customer journey and how do you think that technology or evolving technology can solve that for you? So if I have to talk about the pain points, uh, I'll put it into two or three very simple stuff. One is availability. So when you are there on a tech stack and when you are going ahead and so much being dependent on technology, availability becomes a key. You need to be up and running 24 by 7, 365 days a year because if you are not available, that's the biggest dampener a customer can have and there can be a trust deficit that he's trying to log into our website or he's just trying to connect us on our app. So that becomes uh, one of the most critical aspects and uh, we have worked upon that in terms of our business continuity as well as our DI strategies, adopting more and more cloud and having new and new tech stack and cloud native applications so as to ensure that there is no issues with the availability. At the same time, with the advent of technology, two most critical things that come to my mind are data security, mm -hmm. data privacy and uh, the frauds that we are seeing nowadays. Okay. So with respect to the data security and data privacy, uh, this is one of the most talked about topics in the risk management, uh, I would say fraternity right now. And uh, it's not only the government, the regulator, but I would say every organization are having their own policies while minimum standards are set by the government. But yes, we are going ahead and implementing more and more controls in ensuring that the data privacy aspect is not compromised at any point of time because it's not the data that's getting compromised. Uh, it's actually a person or a personality. So we have to be very, very sensitive towards it. And the second topic that I talked about was uh, pertaining to the frauds that we are nowadays seeing, especially on the telephones and all. So I would just put it very simply for all my customers out there, the potential customers as well as the current customers that uh, if there is an offer which is too lucrative to be true, mm -hmm. just take a step back in assessing whether that's true or not. Nice. So you will be getting calls and getting various offers, getting refunds and all. So as a company, we would never ask for certain personal information like 
what is the i would say like an aadhar number or certain passwords or otps so no organization would be asking them so one needs to be very very aware and alert and vigilant on these particular fronts wherever you are in doubt uh, we have our own call center you can always go ahead and connect us to check whether there has been an issue or not and if there has been some such calls i would uh, in that case say that yes you should definitely bring that to our notice also because end of the day we take this more seriously and uh, at the end i would just say that uh, for us our customers are the most important and we will do anything and everything to ensure that they remain protected not only from an insurance standpoint rather from a data privacy as well as a fraud standpoint thanks for this insightful chat sir that really appreciate your time i hope our audiences learn as to how technology is impacting big businesses as well as offering more conveniences for them security remains a big concern which companies are working towards solving it and hopefully in the future by adopting better tech they will be able to offer more conveniences and solve several pain points Canara HSBC Life Insurance Promises ka partner